what's up Medusa? so today i'm going to be harvesting some mugwort um, this is wildly grown in just in this area that i'm in um, depending on your type of area you can find different types of mugwort um, i don't specifically know what this kind is but i know i have used it before um, i'm going to be going over like the specific things on how you can identify it but this is just some mugwort that i found around me and mugwort is considered a weed so it doesn't necessarily um, you don't necessarily see it in small batches Usually if you find some of it, look around it, there's probably going to be big patches of it and that's the same for over here. So as you can see, this whole patch over here um, is just mugwort and a few other things, but it's mainly mugwort and that's what I'm here for. So if you like to use some mugwort, usually I like to have it dried and I use it for either teas or for smoking. Um, for smoking, it does have like a low burn, so if you want something that's um, want something to add to your weed or add to your herbal blend this is a very slow burning herb and also if you use it for tea it's supposed to help you with your dreams and also just help you with your sleeping in general also I've heard that you're supposed to really concentrate it whenever you are making it your tea um, for me I make large batches of tea and I will drink that whole thing so I don't necessarily have to concentrate it but if you are someone that doesn't drink a lot or someone that would like to have more of a concentrated tea um, go ahead and do that you can have have it with sugar have it with anything else um, it is sort of bitter but not not necessarily plain so you can add a little bit of sweetener to it or you can add something else like fruits or something sweeter to help sweeten it but you don't necessarily have to do that if you like you can just drink your tea straight up and it'll be fine um, I don't necessarily know if you can do that with the cold brewing process. I usually like to do hot brew. Um, just for mugwort itself, I don't know if it actually works for cold brew, but I know it definitely works for hot brew. So I'm going to get right into it. Um, it's about to be dark soon, that's why I'm actually outside. Um, you can harvest this whenever you want. Um, I don't know the specific season or time frame that you can do it. I just know when I see it and I know it's a good batch, then that's usually when I collect it. But yeah, let's get right into it. So here's a little tip, um, if you find this, it looks kind of like chamomile, um, I'll put the specific name right here, but you take some of this, usually what I like to do is just take off some of the leaves, and if you're ever out and like you get cut or something, or if you just need to like heal a wound, take a bunch of the leaves, I like to kind of spin it up. Just a little bit. Then take that, put it on, it'll stop the bleeding. It doesn't taste that good, but it will stop your bleeding. And usually, if you just do this every once in a while, it should completely be fine. Um, if it's a major bleed, then you go in. If it's a major bleed, go ahead and seek professional help but this right here um, I've done it a few times on hikes and it doesn't necessarily make it feel better but it does stop it from bleeding so there's a little something for you.
Also, this is just a quick little thing. Um, I don't know if this is necessarily the case with all types of mugwort, but there actually is another plant here that I am familiar with. Um, it's this right here. Um, this kind of tastes like a very light pickle to me, um, especially when you just have the tips and just have them raw. Um, I usually like to have this like with a salad or something or just mix it into something just for a little bit of nutrition. But I believe you can eat the entirety of this. Usually I just eat the petals just because. But it looks similar to chamomile. Most of the time it is this white color. Sometimes you will see them a little bit purple like this one right here. It's a little bit purple but most of the time it is white like this. And yeah the leaves the stem i believe the roots also are all edible so you can use it that way but this is just something that if you are around mugwort i noticed that this tends to be around it too i don't know if that's the case everywhere but from the places i've been and the mugwort that i've collected these seem to be generally around it make sure before you eat it you test it on your skin and also put a little bit of spit on it and rub it on you just to make sure you don't have an allergic reaction um I don't want anyone dying over here. I follow a few people on social medias that know a little bit more about plants, but I'm gonna leave them in the description, but these are just things that I have found that usually come around when mugwort is around. Okay, so this is my haul. Um, I got a bunch of these. I'm probably just going to use most of the petals and maybe some of the stems in like a smoothie or something. And also got this little planter bucket. I don't know how big this is, but I got this and I have it full of the stems full of the mugwort and also I just went around to all of the nice looking tips and I just took them. I usually like to get the smaller ones at the top rather than getting the whole stem. Um, if I do get a whole stem usually um, I make sure it's as green as possible so no little brown spots and also make sure no insects are on it. Um, these I'm going to tie up when I get home. And these I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm just going to tie it up just so it gets a little bit drier and also just to make sure no bugs are on it. Um, you can wash this. I am not going to waste my water washing it, so I'm just going to let it sit somewhere where if there's anything on it, it will climb right off. And then every so often I'll just shake it, make sure everything, is, everything loose is off of it, and just make sure like everything is cleaned. Um, if you are somewhere with water, just go ahead and rinse it. It's not going to hurt it, but just, um, but if you're like me and you're traveling and maybe you're like on the side of the road somewhere, but you want to collect something, um, just go ahead and collect it. You don't have to wash it right away, but just wash it whenever you can. Or if you can't, then just, like I said, tie it up, just hang it somewhere where anything that's on it will get off and then make sure you shake it every once in a while just to make sure the bugs are on. This is how I originally discovered my board. Um, if you take one of the leaves, like about that size make sure there's like no pollen or anything on it um, you take it chew it up and you stick it down there below your below your gums like you do dip um, this will just help you stay a little bit calmer like when you're on the trail or something um, I don't necessarily know if this is like a common known thing but if you stick anything right between there, it gets into your bloodstream a lot faster. So if you like to, like if you find any sort of pain medicine or any sort of psychedelic medicine that you would like to use, just put it, crush it up, put it right there and you'll have that effect.